Hello, my beautiful collectives. Welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you up lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as well. As well. Okay, please remember, remember, Lord have mercy. I promise I had my cup of joe this morning. Please remember to stay only in the purest of white light and vibrational energy. Okay. I return to source. I return to sender all negative energies and intend immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light. Okay. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you, being returned to you. All evil plans, all evil and negative plans of your enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. Okay. As I have said, so shall it be. Baby, this sucker came and flew out, fell down in the reverse. Okay, spirit. <laughs> Judgment is final. Tell us something, won't you, spirit? Please excuse the nails, honey. It is what it is. You all know this stuff is part of life. I didn't have time to do my nails, but you see I'm dedicated to putting out content for you all. So don't come for me. Anyways, let's go ahead and find out what our angel number is for the day. For this morning, we have 20 out here, which it sums down to the number two celebration coming together a uh, manifestation right union reunion things like that twin flames twin soul twins coming together manifesting a new reality all kinds of stuff all kinds of beautiful things okay business success life success overall people let's go ahead it said you relate to others on an almost cosmic level you are dedicated to building harmonious relationships of all kinds you have the ability to persuade others to your point of view by using gentle means. I am harmonious. Okay, then. All right. Let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on here. We have the queen of wands out here in the reverse. The fact that we're starting with this little girl is, um, excuse you, honey, is real interesting. This woman has been showing up in quite a bit of my readings, and I've been acting like I don't see her, but I've been bombastic side eyeing this little girl in my readings. There is someone here who is unhinged. There's a masculine leaving someone behind the scenes. These two could have a family together, or they were in a relationship together, okay? And he's wanting to heal and move on with his life because this woman is unhinged. They may have a family together, but he's choosing to leave because someone is not emotionally balanced. Someone may be reckless with her body, her mouth. This is not really someone you want to build with because there's some type of um, other activities. There are other activities this woman has going on outside of the relationship. This is someone that maybe even uses their body to get what it is they want from other people. This would be someone that does not see any problems with using their body to get what they want like using their body to get favors from other people so there is some type of relationship in here where she wants to heal the relationship but it's not really for a genuine reason this is really so mo more so to trap someone with her and he does not want to be trapped with this woman anymore uh these two could have been together for quite a long time uh, so he may just be cutting his loss and moving on. Someone wants to heal and just kind of move on with their life, have a brand, brand new or uh, fresh start as something, right? Listen, these cards today, yeah, I'm telling you, she wants to heal this relationship with this King of Cups, but he's not interested. He wants to move on. There's something that has been revealed to this woman. I mean, to this man about this woman. So maybe he didn't know the whole time. You see this here coming out and it's coming out sideways. So I'm going to put it out in the reverse. There's something that has been revealed to this man about this woman. And he's just not able to come to terms with it. It's that he has made his peace. He said, I already know. I don't want to be here anymore. Um, he knows the truth. Something has been revealed to him. He may be keeping his thoughts and his emotions to himself. Someone has been healing silently while in the presence of a, a, a crazy energy. This is one of the women that have a problem with healing. When you talk about things that have to do with high vibration, high vibrational activities and things like that, it turns her off. It's repulsive to her because someone is so toxic. All hope is lost. They're hopeless. Someone is not going to be able to heal this lifetime because she's dedicated to being toxic. 
This masculine, however, is taking his commitment somewhere else. He does not want to be with this woman, okay? He does not want to be with her. Um, he's taking his offer somewhere else, or he's just keeping it until he can find someone that's worth his time. For some of you, there is something going on with an ex of yours. Someone was very much dedicated to causing chaos in your life, to causing mayhem in your life. This masculine is brokenhearted because you left him for some reason. Either this person treated you poorly, even though they knew you were someone of high uh, value, whatever it is you young folks call it out here. But someone does not like women that are uh, kind, sweethearted, things like that. He comes into your life to basically break you. So someone was unhappy with your personality. He's used to dating women that are just like him, shallow. He gets a thrill out of destroying genuine people. Someone has gotten out here into the world to destroy someone's character to a lot of other masculine. So if you left someone in the past, this is someone that's watching you. And anytime someone wants to come in and give you an offer, he intercedes, speaks ill on their behalf. He may even pay them to come in and you know kind of reject you right so they'll come in play with your mind your emotions and you think they're about to give you some type of solid offer but then they reject you they change their mind it's all planned someone has been sending a uh, karmic masculines into his ex's life is being set up in a way where you don't realize it's being set up and even if it's not set up initially let's say you're working one job and you leave from there and go to another job and someone in that company is interested in you this masculine is watching you the whole time and you don't know he has befriended someone at that company and the moment someone tries to make you some type of offer even if it's just a promotional offer financial offer he intercedes and tells them that, oh, they don't qualify for this position. They don't know what they're doing. You will be making the biggest mistake of your life collaborating with this person, okay? So so someone may be uh, not, he may not be able to pay an institution now to work with him. There's something like that going on here where there's some type of halt in his um his operation is that someone is very very determined to keep doing what it is they've been doing so they're trying to find a new approach to causing some type of hindrance in your life someone is very broken and bruised there's something where it's like they had some type of experience when they were growing up either the mom betrayed them or the mom was not the mother that she needed to be to him she wasn't nurturing to him and he just never learned how to heal and recover from that. So someone is walking around with a lot of unhealed tricks in them, hurting, right? And they don't want to address those wounds because those wounds are too heavy, they're too deep. At this point, I think it may be impossible for them to heal it for his recollection, for his uh, uh, conclusion which is not true. Of course, you know that you can heal from anything. You just got to be waiting, willing to put in the work, okay? But someone is not willing to do that. Instead, he'd rather be out here causing mayhem in people's lives, basically, okay? Someone is very toxic. Just, oh my gosh, they're like a nightmare. If this, if this, is, like some, if this is someone you are dating, this will be someone you don't even know is this way because they have a very a sophisticated way of hiding the tricks that you, you will find repulsive. So if you're someone that does not typically date these kind of masculine, someone has learned how to mask his energy so well that you don't pick up on it till it's too late. Um, real quick, short story. So I used to date this person. Um, Lord, I'm not even going to give any details because I don't even want him to know it's him because, sir, farewell to you best wishes may you have the day in life you deserve anyway so i met this man uh, <clears throat> some years ago and you know i've always been real genuine with, with people very kind-hearted um i used to be nice but i'm not anymore because i had to learn to put a cap on it um uh, so now i'm kind if i do something for you that means i'm doing it out of the kindness of my heart not because i feel like i have to um there's a difference um but when i met this gentleman 
that's a that's that, that's that's generous to be using that word with him um when i met this gentleman i was very sweet nice a bit of a pushover you know i was someone that kind of looked out for people um just really open-hearted a little bit too open-hearted and he saw this about me looking back now i realized that he saw this about me and i remember having a conversation with this masculine one day um and he will watch me how i would interact with people right uh i said yes yes and thank you please and thank you um i refer to people as sir and ma'am you know just just went out of my way to be kind and nice to people i remember one day we were talking and he said you're too nice you're too nice for me i'm i, I can't this is too much niceness so um he would say why are you saying thank you to people why are you saying calling people ma'am why are you calling people sir and it baffled me that this person had a problem with me being polite me being kind me being nice so looking back now over the years that i spent with this person or in their energy i'm looking back now and realizing this man was basically spending time dismantling me trying to convert me into something a little bit bit more dark and and unhinged you know the kind of women that he was more than likely accustomed to the ones that were okay with using men you know to get what they want out of them he wasn't used to someone that was actually genuine and i think my interaction with this brother took some type of effect on him and this is someone that was a practitioner right which i didn't find out till later he was a dark practitioner they're into the sacrificing and things like that lord have mercy um anyways i didn't find that out till later um uh, when i started having premonitions and things like that of this man taking me out of this world or sending people to have me taken out and things like that but it is something like that someone is bothered by your light but your light made some type of change in this person they've never received genuine love from anyone or affection from anyone they received it from you so in a sense they are kind of addicted to your energy like it's an addiction for them it's something that's very healing they feel entitled to it they don't want anyone else to have access to you so they're doing a whole lot behind the scenes to prevent other people from having access to you this could even be someone that goes both ways and you will have never known being in their energy until you left and then started reflecting over the relationship or your time around this person and you'll start noticing differences or little things that was like oh my gosh i didn't realize that's what was going on oh my gosh um it is something like this someone lost like an earth angel or an empress energy and is destroying them on the inside there are let me see what how do i want to say this someone is angry because you left them and mind you you probably left this person because of how they were treating you um this would be one of those people where you all walk out in public and act like everything is okay but behind closed doors this person is a nightmare when people interact with this person to come up as a king of cups but behind the scenes honey this person is a nightmare to be around you may have possibly put up with someone for maybe a year two year uh seven years ten years whatever the number was and you you maybe told your ancestors that you wanted out of this contract someone was someone was more than likely like a karmic contract for you something you were supposed to learn maybe you had a debt that you needed to pay or something like that there was a lesson that you needed to learn and you've learned that lesson and moved on but someone is still collaborating with people behind the scenes to trap you keep you trapped in something and it's just not happening someone wants to keep you living in the past while you are trying to move into the future they are going to the places you're supposed to be going or the new places you are and causing hindrances for you and there's something that's taking place in this person's life where it's like the truth is out um people are seeing them as someone that needs to heal they may not be able to commit or pay for certain things in their lives anymore they're not able to pay to have you left out in the cold have you re being rejected there was a whole plan right by either a group of masculines or three four however many people to have you undone like take your stability away have you homeless have you just living in a state of poverty and then this nightmare of a creature was supposed to come in and come 
it come in to save the day basically he said i told you the world was a wicked place to be i told you to stay close to me stay as close to me as possible i don't know why you left me this is like your cycle you know the cycle killers in the movie that come in to give you a hug and they're rubbing your back but the whole time they're plotting your ending this is one of those characters darling so if you got away from someone that was just a nightmare behind closed doors honey you better stay far gone forever do not go backwards in life okay someone is even trapped in something he cannot get out of he may have ended up getting in a relationship with someone that he thought was going to be abundant but it's not abundant meanwhile you are about to step into abundance possibly with a new partner some of you or in a new institution a new environment you some of you may be moving overseas to another country some of you are getting new love so you can put an end to this chapter or you're going to be getting new love at love after you put an end to this chapter and someone is living in fear because people see the truth about the masculine that you left and why everything has been so chaotic if someone was wanting to come in and marry you they are trying to figure out why it is that it's been so complicated it said this person is right there i can see her i can see him why can I not get a hold of this person? And that's because someone is causing hindrances, blockages behind the scenes. They are used to people taking bribery from them. They are used to people listening to what they have to say, but the truth is out. Someone cannot lie anymore. People, I'm telling you, the truth is out. People are seeing this masculine for the unhealed and unhinged creature that he or she is and is done like their their scheme is over someone may even be going off on this masculine at home okay they may be going off on this why did i say at home someone may, yeah he may be trapped in a yeah like she found out that he still wants to be with you the, oh my lord spirit speak to us won't you speak to us she found out that this man still wants to be with you and she's causing a wreckage they're arguing a lot she wants him to stay so this is not like a full healing what it really is is she just wants to keep him trapped with her it said no you can't go to that woman like you and i have been pretending this whole time that i'm the empress i'm the star seed now you want to leave me to go back to your ex for what she's like no we're gonna stay together he doesn't want to stay he wants to recover his family some of you have a family with this crazy man and he wants to come in and heal your family dynamic it's not happening this chapter is over you have a new offer coming in with someone else there could be even like someone in this masculine energy maybe like a friend or something that's interested in some of you honey i don't know just be cautious someone does want to come in just to gaslight you so you can start a whole chapter over a karmic chapter yeah so you can start a karmic chapter over again so they can have control over you this is what this person wants to do is have control over you someone someone the way the relationship was set up with the both of you in the past it was something that was controlled but you didn't know you were in a control environment this person was controlling and interfering with your relationships with people in your lives the whole time this is like someone that will call, let's say, a brother of yours and speak ill of you to them. They'll speak ill of you to their family so their family does not have any have a good opinion of you because of what this person is telling them. So the whole time they're telling these people that you're mean, you're reckless, you're, un, you're undisciplined, you're not responsible, you don't take care of your responsibilities and things like that. You're possibly a horrible mother, horrible wife, girlfriend, whatever this is, friend. You're not even a friend in the relationship. Only for them to find out that the whole time you were genuine to this person. When you were in this person's energy, they were healing. You were encouraging them to upgrade their lives, encouraging some of them to go back to school, encouraging some of them to see themselves from a higher perspective, have their own mind. Like you were healing to someone and they took it for granted. They consider you to be a pushover. They say, oh, that's a, that's a weak-minded person. Uh, so they took your kindness for granted. They're mistaking your kindness for weakness. And someone is realizing that they cannot just come back into your life and fluff things up. They said, oh, if I just go in and apologize, you know, they'll, they'll accept my apology and we can have our family again. You have your source pulled out as someone. I don't even think you want to listen to this person, honestly. 
I don't think you want to listen to this person. You're being uh, 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 you're being practical about the situation, and someone does not like that. They don't want you to be practical. They want you to go back to the naive little girl or little boy you used to be where they could just tell you anything and you go for it and say, well, you know, he said this or she said this, so that's probably true. You know, just just an airhead, that's how they want you to be, but you're too wise for this person now. You've been out into the world and you've experienced too much on your own now. Someone hasn't been there to cloud your judgment, so you've decided to step out on faith, right, and take a bold step somewhere else. You're like, nah, I'm going to take my chances somewhere else. Source say I need to move forward, not backward. So I'm not exactly. And that's going to lead to growth for you. You moving forward with your life. And someone is burdened by this. Like you're literally walking away. They may want to come in your energy. Pray that source does not let this person in your energy. Because, honey, you are going to be so defensive towards this person. They won't even know what, what hit them. Someone still has some type of mindset about you where you are like, oh, like a cute little puppy. They're going to come in and roll up your belly and you're just going to be there. Oh, 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 oh. that's what they think, honey. But someone is going to come in. I'm telling you, they still see you as this, which you are, but you have something on cap. You know who to be this for. You know who you need to, who, what you need, you know what to be around who. And the, the energy from your past that wants to come back in, this is not the energy you're giving them. You're giving like pay bull, pay bull energy, K9 energy, rock roller energy. Like you're not out here trying to be cute and fluffy with this masculine or feminine from your past. You don't care what's going on with them. Someone, I'm telling you, you don't care. This is you, but you have your sword pulled out at this person. You're like, I don't give two S-H-I-T what's going on with you. Whether you're sick, whether you're homeless, whether you're broke, people are rejecting you, someone's trying to own a life. You, I don't give two S-H-I-T. That's your bed that you made. Lay in it. Someone may have even been warned before they took some type of path with this creature. You warned this person or someone warned this person before they took this path with this creature that's now wanting to trap them in a marriage or a relationship they don't want to be in. He went and got married. Someone went to the courts, got married to an unhinged creature. Now they're trapped in the marriage, right? Maybe reminiscing, dreaming about you and things like that. They want out of the marriage. It's quite difficult. You have another queen, king of cups that's interested in you, however. But honey, whoever this ex of yours is is wanting to take over the reading he said wait 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 wait, i got something to say so we don't care what you got to say we don't care we already know what you have to say that we know what you have to say keep it to yourself we know you're going through problems the karmics are fighting the karmics are fighting now your masculine ironically the person you're supposed to be with or that wants to be with you genuinely is going through a divorce behind the scenes as well he feels trapped in some type of relationship there may be a lot of money and assets in this relationship so they they may be going through some type of divorce proceedings and she's trying to take him for everything he's got honey lord have mercy lord have mercy and everything is being put out in the open with your ex whoever this is that's interested in you they may be trying to keep everything on a hush hush but any sir sirs sirs s-i-r-s sirs <laughs> in order for you to heal from certain things and a lot of things they have to be out in the open so you can learn how to deal with that shame and overcome that shame because trying to hide from the shame makes the situation worse okay but your masculine has chosen, sir, ma'am, sir, whoever you're supposed to be with has chosen to move forward with their life. They may be leaving everything behind just to go and have a fresh start. They want to heal. They want to know more about life. They want to live in a high vibrational energy. Both of these masculines are trapped with jizzy bells. Both of these masculines are trapped with unhinged creatures that's what we're going to call them creatures because they are making these masculine lives 
miserable because of the very fact that they know these masculines do not want to be with them. Okay? They know. They say, I know you're trying to leave me to go be with that star. See, you decided to move forward with your life and go be in love. This is judgment, though. There's someone in here, not your ex, honey. Whoever this other masculine is that's going through healing. There's someone in here, judgment has been made for them to let go of an unhinged creature. These people argue. My gosh. This woman is unbearable to be with. She's unbearable. It's going to get to a point where this divorce proceeding, he's just going to say, F it. You can have it all. I'm done. Like, she's overbearing. She's annoying. Like, this man is just about to be like, you see this strength in the reverse? Like, this man said, I can't do this anymore. Like, you can, you can have it. You can have the cars. You can have the mansion. You can have whatever. Like, he's done. This man is more concerned about healing. He cannot, like, he's, he doesn't have the strength to go through with this relationship anymore. The divorce, she's done everything to make this man's life complicated in this divorce. She said, oh, you think you're going to leave me and go be happy somewhere else? You are mistaken. You got me effed up. That's what she's saying. And the whole time they've been married, she's been making his life miserable. They probably argue every day. This is someone that possibly even sleep with everybody in the neighborhood but him. Make it make sense. How are you in a relationship and you are okay with sleeping with everybody and their cousins, everybody and their daddy, everybody and their brother and sister, I'm hearing, but your partner that you marry, you don't want to live with them. Have several seats. Your classless trim. I'm telling you, your classless trim. That ex of yours, honey, he wants to come in, pick a fight with you. You ain't playing with this heifer. You're not playing. You have your source pulled out just like I said. Just like I said, okay? He has people watching you, young en energies watching you. He's watching you too, actually. But some of you, this masculine has people watching you, stalking you online. If you post content, he has these immature little energies posting little stupid stuff under under your comment section. If they know where you work, he's having these idiotic creatures call your workplaces to harass you, file false reports on you, make false claims against you just so you can lose your job. This is how bitter someone is that you left them. Someone is determined to defeat you. Make sure you don't have a prosperous future. Some people he has turned against you. You've been around for 10 years, 15 years, 30 years. And maybe the money he gave them was good, good. And they took it and they turned on you. And you still stood your ground. Because you are loyal to yourself and source first before anyone else. Someone does not understand how they've destroyed all of your connections and you don't feel lonely. You're still coming out here in the world with an open mind. They said, what's new? What's going on, folks? What's up? And he's lost. He said, what the heck? Why are they still happy? Why is this B-I-T-C-ish still smiling? The heck is going on? I've done root magic on this heifer. I've done beauty spells. I don't want people to see her as beautiful. I don't want people to see her as freaking uh, uh, intelligent. I told people she was retarded. What the heck is going on with this girl? What had happened? She didn't used to be this way. You're damn skippy. Someone, a feminine energy, got into the world and she grew the heck up. She wise up. Now everyone that comes, she said, okay, you know, I'm not afraid of you. I'm not, you know, I'm not worried about you, but I got my source pulled out. Though, if you try anything, we can check you right there. He wanted you. He wanted you living in fear. He wanted you anxious, wary of every energy that came across you. Any masculines? He wanted you thinking that they were just like him. No, they're not like him. Not all, not all men are the same. Not all men are childish and insecure and refuse to grow the heck up. But he wants you to see all men that way. 
you know how idiotic that is for you to sum all men up in the same pot oh you know my ex was uh, a brute so all men are the same this is like those women that go around talking about they don't need a man honey what what do you mean you don't need a man everybody needs a man every man needs a woman that's why we're all here to compliment each other men have their part to play in the relationship women have their part to play in the relationship there are same-sex marriages same-sex relationships and they have their parts to play in the relationships as well we have to acknowledge those people why because that is an experience every freaking person has had or will have in their existence in one lifetime no one is exempt you are going to incarnate in every different aspect of life gay straight by whatever you want to call it you're going to have all of those experiences look at p diddy he's he's having his experience honey everything he's having in this lifetime and that's the path that he chose that's the path he chose those people in hollywood that's the path they chose this lifetime they are learning that's an experience they're going through that's the path that they choose and when they're done learning guess what they go into the spirit realm maybe he didn't go about it the right way this this lifetime so there's a lesson to learn he'll have to incarnate to fix that but there's something that he has learned his soul has learned with how he did things this lifetime so when p diddy leaves this life whenever Hopefully no one takes him out. He doesn't take himself out. I'm not wishing that on anyone. But whenever he leaves this realm, his soul has learned something. I know how he went about it is barbaric. It's inhumane what he did to, the, to a lot of people, allegedly. But it was for his soul to learn. They all had a soul contract together. Every part person he interacted with, they had a soul contract together. It was divinely orchestrated. Okay? It's not accidental. When you see people all being on a live in like a train wreck, car accidents, all of that, they made a contract together that that is how they were going to come get out of here. Okay? This masculine honey is determined to destroy you. He does not want anyone seeing you in a positive light, but he's disappointed because people see the truth about you. Someone sees you as absolutely intelligent. Someone sees you as very loyal, down to earth, open-minded, ready to take on the world, honey. And it bothers that masculine from your past. It bothers him. I'm telling you, you predicted something or someone predicted something to this masculine in the past and he didn't listen. A prophecy has been fulfilled. He is realizing he's trapped in some type of marriage with an unhinged creature, this queen of wands in the reverse. He wants out. Your masculine that you're supposed to be with is in a relationship with an unhinged creature, queen of wands in the reverse. He wants out. He's leaving. And she's doing everything to keep him stuck. Working with people behind the scenes. They say, hey, watch him if he decides to go to her. That man is trying to free himself from you. He may even be terrified to even make an offer anywhere else. He's more concerned about healing and ascending now. Because you've made life a living hell for this person. He don't even want to date. What did you do to this man? Can you imagine being in a relationship and someone rejects you? That's what she's done for years. 15 years, 20 years, something like that. That's what she's done. And this poor masculine has to walk out every day pretending to be happy. Yeah, he has to walk out every day pretending to be happy. Yeah, pretending to be happy. Like everything is okay. Like he's in a balanced relationship. He loves his wife. People like this, these kind of masculines, you don't want to be around me because I don't see what you're showing me. I see you beneath the surface. I've met someone like this before. I said, oh, Lord. Sir, I, I I I wish you healing because I listen. I said healing, right? We are sending you healing energy, sir. Because if what I'm seeing is what it is, Lord have mercy. 
this woman is unhinged. This man is miserable with this woman. He's cutting his loss. He said, you can have it all. I'm done. I'm done. This is what she's been holding over his head for a long time that he's going to lose his wealth. He's not going to have access to money and things like that anymore. He's going to be broke. He's going to be this. He's going to be that. He don't care no more. He said, you can have it all. He wants to heal. Okay. He wants to heal. This is a man. <laughs> like, it's like the story is going back and forth, back and forth. And I think the reason it's going back and forth between your ex and this new masculine is because they may know each other. They may know each other. You're standing your ground against a person, uh, a person that wants to come into your energy just to help have you digress. It's that you've left level one. When you met this person, you were at the beginning of your ascension journey and you've managed to go up to level, let's say level six. And he's still buffering at level one because he refuses to heal. He refuses to face his demons. He refuses to turn a new leaf and accept that something is wrong with him. He refuses, refuses to do that. This is your ex. So he's buffering here at level one watching you at level six and you look like you're about to go to level seven he's like i gotta i gotta get to her so i can drag her back down and you pull your sore eyes out. you say i wish you would touch me and your ancestors are watching from the uh behind the scenes i wish this mother effort will bust a move we will drag you by your silver chain right back into the uh, the spirit realm for those that don't get that joke your soul is connected to you through a silver chain, a silver chain, okay? You and your soul are connected through a silver chain. You and source are connected through a gold chain, okay? Yeah, you have genuine love coming in. This person wants to block it. And it's coming in in divine timing, just in time. Someone has been trying to have you living in poverty, but you're still the person of high honor. Everything is being balanced out in your life. Everything is being balanced out in your life. Okay? Right. This group is not able to move forward with their plans against you. And whoever this woman is of high honor, whoever she wants to call herself, she's not able to manipulate someone into staying with her. Someone is having a hard time healing. This whole group is having a hard time moving on. It said, we've done everything. We've done everything. How is this person still moving forward? They should be in distress, falling and can't get up. You said, this person should be down and now you have people stalking you, violating your privacy, evasion of privacy, like Cardi B calls it evasion of privacy and here you are victorious and your enemies are still plotting you say oh i don't have to you know do anything drastic or impulsive i'll just talk to my ancestors and the source so they can figure this out they say hey we we don't run we we stay and face our problems so you're going to stay right here and we're going to face this issue and we're going to t uh, show your enemies that, hey, <laughs> this ain't what you think it is. We are going to need you to have several seats, okay? And we are going to step out on faith. We're going to take make our calculations and step out here logically, okay? Burdens. They are burdens. But your new beginning is in short, okay? This woman is trapped. Someone is stuck. And she's still plotting. Because this is a narcissist. She's still plotting. I'm telling you, you see this is coming out sideways. This relationship is over. This masculine, initially, he was going to come in and gaslight you, whoever you're supposed to be with. He was going to come in to gaslight you because he just could not phantom, letting go of all of this assets they have together, this abundance. So he was going to come in to gaslight you. Even though he's married, he was going to come in and give you an offer. 
And then when he's done with you, go back to his wife. And he's realizing you're a little bit too sharp for his nonsense, for his madness. So he's not able to come in now and gaslight you. I want you to see the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles are in the reverse. He cannot pay you to do anything. He cannot pay you for your uh, your 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 loyalty. He cannot pay you for nothing. He's not able to bribe you. You're too sharp. He may even be terrified at how sharp you are mentally. You know, like someone trying to do something and you already know what they're trying to do and you cut it off. Is that don't cut it off. Stop it. Sometimes you just have to look at someone. Is it are are you are you s h i t e me right now? Are you really? So he can't come if he was planning to come in to bribe you. He can't. If he was coming in to gaslight you, he can't because you see the truth. So now he's going through healing. He's decided decided. You know what? Instead of going in and gaslighting this this woman i'm gonna do the right thing i'm gonna heal i'm gonna take time to heal from my wounds i'm gonna take time to wising up learn things instead of being out here being malicious and a narcissist maybe i should do this the right way so he's not able to come in and gaslight you someone cannot come in and play with your emotions and things like that that's what they wanted to do initially but you're not with that because you don't have time. Someone knows you don't play around. Someone likes you, but they know you don't have time for their BS. I'm telling you, you don't have time. Whatever weird, funny, stupid offer they wanted to come in and give you, you're not accepting it. And they're being put in time out. It's that you're still not listening. You're, not, you're still not heeding the words of wisdom. You need to sit down until you heed what we're trying to tell you you're playing with your future you could have a soul contract with someone and because he's refusing to heal he does not realize he's playing with his future his new beginning by the way the chance to get away from this unhinged creatures whoever this is madness madness Someone is with someone who love is not free. Love is is love is conditional with this woman. Even your ex, the person he's with, love is conditional. It's so crazy because there are two masculines reciprocating the same experience with two different energies. They're both in toxic relationships. Someone's ex may have even gotten married for money to secure his future. He thought he was secure in the bag. Or maybe she married him thinking she was secure in the bag. She's turned out to be a nightmare. Someone in here got married for finances. And it's not what they thought it was going to be. He said, you can keep all of that. I'm good. The properties, the money, whatever you want, honey, keep it. Because, whoo! Jizzy Bell, you are working my last nerve. So when he comes into your energy now, Empress, Lightworker Collective, he's going to come a little bit more humble because your energy, your ancestors have been working on this sucker behind the scenes. They started off a little gentle. It was in subtle messages. They were, they were communicating with him in a subtle manner. Your ancestors, his ancestors are working on him. And this started off real easy. They said, mm -hmm, he's a virgin when it comes to this stuff. So let's be easy. Be gentle. Be gentle. Don't just pfft, in there all at once. Be gentle. And they kept being gentle with him. They took a gentle approach for a long time. And it looked like he still was not learning. They said, this mother sucker here. We've been gently nudging you to go a different direction because you're with an unhinged creature. This woman is hopeless. She's hopeless. There is no healing, no recovery, no peace. Someone is looking for someone to be their peace, to stand by them, be loyal to them, secure them so he can secure them as well. Someone wants security in a relationship. They're looking for someone to be their peace and quiet. It's what I keep hearing. I just need someone to be my peace and quiet. 
I just need you to be my peace and quiet. To be my peace. That's what he's looking for. Every day he's at home with rah, 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 rah. They're not subtle with this man anymore. Things are going left and right. They said, until you do what we're telling you to do, you're going to ha keep having all these problems with this woman. Here. She's going to keep being a nightmare. Things are only going to keep getting worse. And we'll see how committed you are to keeping these assets. We'll see how attached you are to these assets. When she starts putting stuff in your drinks, trying to set you up to be unalive and things like that, we'll see how much you care about those assets. Someone does not know how desperate a feminine energy is out here to keep them stuck in a toxic relationship, all because of assets, all because of how things look. Maybe they look good together, but they're not happy together. Baby, hmm. he's about to be on the run from her. She said, uh-uh, you can have it here. I'm telling you. He is taking his power back and moving on. Your ancestors, his ancestors, baby, they said it's time to go. It's time to take charge of your life. Go somewhere else. Grab life by the bull, the horn of the bull, and move forward. Nobody cares how crazy it is, how hard it is to keep a hold of that bull when it's moving about. Still try. Try. It's what matters. The fact that you tried. Nobody has time for excuses. I've always been this way. It's really hard to get over this kind of way of living because I've been like this for 50 years. I've been like this for 40 years. It's so hard to... Will you shut up with the complaining? Someone... Oh my gosh, the nagging. Grow up. Grow up. That's all someone does. They complain about themselves in their head a lot. If you came here to hear like sweet words or sorrows or something, you ain't getting it. It's time for us all to grow the heck up. Yeah, grow up. Develop your character. Learn how to stand your ground. Have your boundaries and stick to them. It don't matter how many people are coming against you. Stick to your boundaries and the truth. What you see or what you believe, stick to that. It don't matter how many people are coming against you. If you're doing the right thing, guess what? You are always secure by the universe. Someone has been being manipulated by families and friends. I'm telling you, you're always secure by the universe. You see this right here? As long as you are on the right path and doing the right thing, you have nothing to worry about. People can huff and puff, try to shake your foundation, get a reaction out of you, try to isolate you, reject you. The universe will always bring balance into the situation. They are always evaluating the situation. Who did what? Why did they do it? What's the story behind it? Does this go back to past lifetimes? What, how is this going to be playing out? What balance can, it be, can be brought in here? And you're going to be receiving a message collective from someone that wants to work with you. And this is a higher level connection. Someone is getting good news. And this is causing people problems. Because these are the very people that were working behind the scenes to block two people from coming together. They all got into cahoots. They said, hey, we said she's retarded. Hey. He won't want nothing to do with her. If we say she's reckless and she goes to parties a lot, goes to clubs and strip clubs and all kinds of stuff, she sleeps around. They said that you were the queen of wands in reverse and he's finding out it ain't so, it ain't so. You're someone that stays to yourself. You're, you're isolated. You isolate yourself from people because you know the demons that people come with. You're not living in fear, but you just prefer isolation. You're a recluse. You're an introvert. I'm telling you, in this group, this toxic, they're fighting amongst themselves because the truth is out. We've been, these terror readers, the genuine ones, they've been predicting all of these stories. And these very karmic groups have been logging onto YouTube to watch, but they haven't been taking heed. They've just been watching. They watch a terror video. 
And then they tell when the, the reader tells them, hey, don't take this action. This is going to happen. You know what they do? They go to um, a, a practitioner, a dark practitioner, and has some type of protective spell put around them. And then they go and take the action the reader told them not to do. And they think that they're protected from the consequences. That's not how that works. That is not how that works. It's still coming back to you. I'm telling you, it's still coming back to you. These people are fighting because this masculine is standing his ground now. Okay? If this is a wife that he was with, yeah, honey, he's walking away from this woman. This commitment, he's letting it go. He is letting it go. He said, nope. She's being forced to see things from a higher perspective. She's going through some type. There's a prophecy that was fulfilled. This woman is going through something she can't even explain. She did not know it was going to turn out this way. Someone thought she was a better version than you, and she's disappointed because it's not so. Someone sees her for exactly who she is. She's been telling a lot of lies. Someone's going to have to find the strength to go through exactly what they put you through or what they tried to put you through. And guess what, Collective? This woman does not have the strength to go through it. You're being seen as someone very uh, loyal, committed, skilled. Like you are working on yourself behind closed doors. Someone here does not know how to do that. Someone does not know how to do that. So you have a narcissist that wants to come in and affect your stability and you have your sore pull out at them means like i wish a mother ever would you know how hard i've worked to come where i am this is you to them do you know how hard it took how much effort how much work time energy it took for me to be here and you think you're just going to come in and do what huh okay okay so whoever this queen of wands reverse is she's trapped there's a couple in here that's trapped as well in some nonsense they partook in. Honey, they're all going through some type of ending and it's inevitable. It was always meant to happen this way. Okay. You have a king of swords out here as well. This, hmm, this masculine has been showing up in my readings repeatedly going through the same thing. Disappointment, disappointment. Okay. Someone in your energy Things that he can mask himself enough to be able to mislead you. He thinks if he comes in smiling, soft-spoken, right, someone is not nice. He thought if he were, could pretend long enough that you would choose to work with him. Mind you, he's more than likely trying to put you in a third party. I do see a, someone of high honor above him. That means he has a girlfriend or a woman that he's dealing with. And he wants to come in and give you an offer. And he's disappointed because, honey, guess what? You already rejected this person. Someone wants you to be in high, in, uh, not high honor, in a third party uh, situation with them. <clears throat> it's madness. It is madness. Right. It is madness. He could be friends with this king of wands. Something's telling me that this King of Wands or someone asks that King of Swords to watch you, look out for you, or just report back to him about you. I don't know if this sucker here developed feelings for you or something like that, because I do see the Five of Cups out here, which can have to do with emotional loss as well. I don't know if he had developed some type of emotions for you and it was not reciprocated. So he started doing malicious things behind the scenes to make you appear to be somewhere you're not. Someone has been smearing your character, more than likely even stalking you online and things like that. Right? And now he's disappointed because you rejected him. This is a tower. I'm, I'm uh, exposing someone right now. He's been doing something behind the scenes. He could have even been working. Listen. He could have been working with another energy behind the scenes to cause you hindrances, interfere with your livelihood. And in communications, this King of Wands was sending you, he was interfering with it. And that King of Wands probably did not know that that masculine was interfering with his communications. He's sending messages. He said, she's not responding. And he said, I don't know what's going on. 
I see her every day. I just spoke to her yesterday. She must not be interested. No, it's him. It's him. He's the one that's interfering with communications. I'm telling you, you see this right here? He's interfering with communications. I will tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a lie. This king of source here may have some type of military background, maybe a police officer, PI, whatever he is. Uh, this is just someone with control issues, a control freak. He has emotions for you, but he's obligated to someone else. And his friend told him to watch you, and he betrayed the friend. Now he has to count his loss. You more than likely rejected this person without you knowing that you rejected them. So they're cutting their loss because you and whoever, whether it's this king of wands showing up in a king of cups energy as well are supposed are going to be together one way or the other <laughs> he betrayed both people he betrayed both people he betrayed his friend he betrayed you you could be in this person's i don't know neighborhood you could be in their church you could be in their business maybe they're a colleague of yours a boss of yours something like that because i see the eight of pentacles out here you're letting go of your connection with this king of swords and i'm not getting anything romantic with this knight of cups out here in the reverse it's not anything romantic they both he and his partner has some type of plan to come in and gaslight you play with your emotions and you did something to put a hut to it he said i don't have time for this childish mess you two need to figure out your insecurities and your problems. It was a whole plot. It was a whole plot. They were going to come in, play with your emotions so that you could stay in something very toxic, unrewarding, unbeneficial to you. They wanted you committing yourself to them in some way. They could own businesses together and they were going to come in, give you some type of a bread crummy offer. And you're going to stay committed, working like a slave with no reward, paying you the bare minimum, some of you. And you look at the situation from a higher point of view. You said, this is not for me. I don't, I, I'm, I'm taking my offer somewhere else. I'm taking my skills uh, somewhere else. I'm taking my wisdom, my knowledge. I'm taking it somewhere else. Collective, someone's story is being told. This is the god honest truth they took some type of impulsive action together they may be losing a lot behind the scenes these people would have been successful if they would have went about something the right way is what i'm hearing but they're very devious greedy the both of them there's no love amongst these two it's all business this king of swords that nine of pentacles energy is all business it's all business these two have been together for a long time is what i'm hearing maybe eight years seven years six years whatever this is they've been together for a long time it could be even nine years they're not married why are they not married it's not love why is he not committed to her he has control issues. She likes the good things in life. She's superficial, vain, does not like to work. She wants to be the privileged lady, lady that sits back and does nothing with her life. But she should be living in high honor. So that's what he's been trying to provide to her because he's an idiot, a control freak who's an idiot. Investing in the wrong places, people, and things. So she, she's there. She doesn't even like him. You come about, you're genuine. You have all this light about you, purity about you. These are the kind of women he like. She's not this. She's that. He's mistaking that for this. She's not pure. She's a control freak herself. He may even feel trapped with this woman. <laughs> lord there is someone's story being told he wants to walk away but he can't they are binded together through business someone's story is being told 
someone's private life is being exposed. They are at, they are bonded together in something business wise, but she's not business savvy. She just wants to live the good life, be able to go and swipe that debit card, credit card, and it says approved. But as far as putting in the energy, the work, the effort, it's him. And he puts in the bare minimum too. <laughs> and this person thought they could trust that one. They thought they could trust that one. He said, I, I told you to watch her from me. I didn't tell you to fall in love with her. I didn't tell you to fall in love with her. What's wrong with you? Now you're trying to take someone from me. I told you to watch until I work on myself. That's what it was. That was the deal. Watch this girl for me Why I work on myself. I'm taking care of some business behind the scenes. Once I'm done taking care of the business, I will be coming in to, you know, make a proposal to her. Something like that. And he said, oh, okay. He meets you. You have all this light about yourself. You're a healing energy. He's trapped with a crazy nutcase behind the scenes. He falls in love with you. He has emotions for you. You see him for who he is. He walks around with a mask, by the way. He's that th this has been him his whole life, by the way. Hiding secrets, ulterior motives, and that's him. But you saw right through it. He can't escape that woman because, honey, if you are with someone that gives you the lifestyle that you want, where are you going? That's how she sees it. Sees it. Oh, honey, I have everything I need here. He buys me what I want. I want a new Apple iPhone. He buys it for me. I want a new Chanel bag. He buys it for me. I eat all the food I want, go where I want. I don't have to, I don't want to sleep with him. So I do it every now and then. Where am I going? Nowhere. She's not affectionate. They're cold. You are waking something in this man. I'm telling you, you are waking something in this man that this woman has never been able to in all the years they've been together, never been able to. She may be good looking, but that's about it. Nothing else to her. The surface says shallow. She looks good on the outside. On the inside, no. You help this man get in touch with his inner child. You make him laugh. You make him happy. But he's trapped with her and she's not going anywhere. So he's not an option for you. You don't do third parties. And he knows that. Lord, someone's story is being told. You don't do third parties. At all, at all. Okay? You don't do third parties. I'm telling you, you saw that Queen of Swords come out. You said, no, I see right through you. I told you he wears a mask and you see right through the mask. Sharp as a two-edged sword. You said, hey, 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 that buffoonery thing you do with everybody else and they fall for it, don't bring it over here. I see you. Don't bring that over here. Out here talking about you're an ex-military personnel, PI, police officer, whatever the heck you are. Out here pretending to be something you're not. Trapped in a whole freaking relationship. How are you going to be a control freak but be trapped with some uh, feminine energy like that? How? Everywhere he goes, she goes. Then where are you going? When are you coming back? Who are you going to be with? What will you be doing? How would you be doing it? When can I expect you back? You need to call me. If you don't call me, I'm going to call you. Cause him. If she thinks he's in a feminine energy environment, oh, honey, she's calling him with the most ridiculous problems ever. Things that don't even make sense. Oh, honey, do you know what the remote is? Girl, you call me at work to ask where the remote is. Am I in the house with you? You want to tell me you can't look around? If you don't find the remote, then you're just not meant to use the remote right now. Find something else to do. Overbearing. But this is a lesson for him to learn. She's a lesson for him to learn. And he's going to have to learn how to overcome that karma in this lifetime or the next lifetime he'll incarnate 
with her again to fight the same battle. And it's going to, going to be worse in the next lifetime. This one here, he's doing the work to you. That's him up there as the King of Cups, not your ex. This is this he masculine here. That's him up there as the King of Cups. He has emotions for you. He's getting his life together, maybe wanting to start a business, may own a business, and wants to come in and give you a genuine offer, elevate you in life, and help you move forward with life, okay? And people have been causing complications with this new beginning. Maybe this is something you don't see, he don't see, whatever it is. But the truth is being exposed. And you know the truth. I told you, the truth has been exposed. Everything is out in the open. You're going to be receiving communications. It's all out in the open. Everything anyone did, what you're not aware of, and I don't even think a lot of you are sitting back and waiting to hear anything. You already know people have been acting clowns behind behind the scenes. They've been on their little, little girl, little boy stuff behind the scenes. Someone developed emotions for you and got desperate to keep a hold of you, to grab you, have some type of grip on you, and they started invading your life in ways people should not be invaded. He felt entitled to your energy. He thought you were naive. There's a difference between being naive and being quiet, being diplomatic, being tactful. Naive say you don't know. Or you mis you easily misjudge situations. You don't see things clearly. So it leads to you making the wrong decisions. Someone is finding out you're not naive. You're quite skilled. You're showing up as the magician, so you always know what the heck is going on. You're balanced. You know stuff other people don't know, even this King of Swords. And that person is sharp. He's sharp. But he's naive, though. Isn't that crazy? He thought you were naive, but he's the naive one. And he's older than you, by the way. He's older than you. He's finding out, oh, this heifer ain't naive. She ain't dumb. She's just been staying quiet. She knows everything. You're damn skippy she does. Collective, you do. Someone found uh, something out the hard way. They said, oh, you mean I can't go in and gas like this woman? I can't go in and play with her emotions? No, 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 no. You don't even have emotions. You just know how to pretend to have emotions. And that woman knows that. Whoever you're trying to go in, that queen of swords, she knows that. She knows that. She said, this sucker is cold as, a, as can be. This is a freaking alligator just walking about, cold-blooded. No emotions, no nothing. All he is is just strategic, calculative on how he's going to take his prey down. Or this prey here ain't going to be one of your prey. Collective, you are nobody's prey. You are nobody's victim. And he's finding that out. He's finding it out. And you have this unhinged creature still trying to trap someone with her. Baby. Whatever they're trying to do is not working. They can't come in and trap you. They can't come in and gaslight you. This king of wands is taking action to secure victory for himself. He's not listening to these people anymore. He said, I see it for what it is. You're all clowns. You have me working against my whole soul twin. The whole time, you had me working against my soulmate. He didn't know he was sleeping with the enemy. And the enemy has been exposed to him. He may not be married to this woman. This could be someone he was dating as well. And she's crazy as heck. Crazy. crazy so he's coming in with a solid offer instead of coming in to embarrass himself talking about i can just go in and act like i care about her and once i get what i want from her then you know i'll be back to you uh, it's not happening that way i promise i'll be back yeah you know he don't love her he was attached to her because of assets money 
she refuses to let go. There's a house this woman is trying to keep. If I was him, I would just let her have everything because you know what? She's going to lose it. She's going to lose it. This is someone vain and superficial. They just want to be seen as someone of high honor. But they don't know how to take care of anything, how to handle business. The home front, not taken care of. Probably not even a good parent. So as soon as he leaves, things will be okay for a little bit. And then it's going to go down the drain. The tower is going to come crashing down for her. Can't afford mortgage or rent payment. Can't afford nothing. Because she's going to misuse the money that she stole from him. You know, the one that she made sure that everything went to her in the divorce or the one that she tried to make it as hard as possible for him to have, even though he's really the one that really worked for everything. Yeah, she's going to lose it all and he's going to be abundant somewhere else. I guarantee you, if I kept going with my spirit, the Ten of Cups, the Ten of uh, Pentacles will come out. The Ten of Cups is already out here and that's his future. The Ten of Pentacles will come out. So this is like cutting your loss and just moving on. You say, you know what? You can have it. You can have it. That's okay. You can have it. What I am going to have is my peace and quiet. What I am going to do is take time to heal. <laughs> I'm going to pull one more injured number and then we'll do our angel read and be done man this is someone's story this is why it's important to not just uh, uh settle for anything in life the heck are you with someone that does not love you she's out here embarrassing you for what this is a karmic relationship karmic as can be and this woman does not see a problem with how she is at all she does not see a problem with it she thinks it's acceptable this is how people are supposed to be and she was dumb enough to come up come up against the king the queen of swords honey you're playing with your life collective you're showing up in a queen of swords energy and an uh, unhinged creature reckless with everything mouth body mind soul everything is reckless she thought she was better than you the queen of swords Maybe you were showing up in a Queen of Cups energy before, and so she thought, oh, you know, yeah, 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 she's a Queen of Cups. She's naive. She's childish. She's immature. I'm a better option than her. And she had this man under some type of delusional mindset that it was okay to just meet a man and lay with him. It was okay to use your body to get certain things. I wouldn't be surprised if these two used to work together to take from other people, but now he's changing his life, changing his ways. And you see, she's in the reverse, he's in the upright. That means they, they don't resonate on the same frequency anymore. He's changed. She's stuck in the old paradigm. She still thinks it's okay to be crazy, to be ghetto, to be obnoxious. <laughs> and she came, came up against the Queen of Swords. Honey, please. The Queen of Swords, strategic people intellectual logical one they will sit back and the queen of swords they're one of my queen favorite queens in the deck they will sit back and let you take action and the whole time they are calculating the right moment to strike you i know people say the queen of wands are the warrior uh queens they're good at battle but you need logic to be good. You need knowledge and wisdom, intellect to be good at battle. And that's where the king, queen of swords come into play. So she'll sit back and let you plot. And she'll strike you just one time. And your whole plan is dismantled. Or one thing, another thing, she'll let you yap if you even make it around her. You can yap all you want from a distance, let's say social media, but I guarantee you, if you make the mistake to come into this woman's energy, you'll regret it for the rest of your life because she would 
Because, honey, she will dismantle you with just words alone. And it won't be a long paragraph of a sentence, just something short and easy. Go find yourself a theme. Go find yourself worth. I hope you get to somewhere in life where you don't feel that a man has to validate your worth. You're giving pathetic right now. She may not even say it that way. She just say something real simple and plain to you. And you'll be in your feelings all day, all month, all year. Real simple. And that's who this creature went up against. Girl, honey, child, please. Let's go ahead, folks. We have 777, which goes to 213. Okay. It said, Your purpose flows from within you, and everything that is unfolding or being revealed to you is part of your purpose, a state of peace and calmness in your soul. 999. Okay. Oh, it said, uh, thank the past for your lessons and leave it where it belongs so you can make the best of life, best of the life that is still waiting to be fulfilled by only you. This is a message to you and this masculine that's going through this experience with this woman. This is a message to you collective to leave that crazy ex of yours in the past. Leave him where he is. That man made his bed, let him lay in it. He dug that grave. Let him lay in it. Someone has to lay in it, but it's not you, collective. The person that dug it, let him fall in there. Okay? 5510 completion. Substantial change is in your future. Embrace the change, a need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears. I am evolving. Like the page of source out here. Always evolving. Open to change. New horizon. Okay? Anyways, Collective, thank you for watching. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.